Hey guys, this is Galen at ECU Master USA, and today we're going to talk about our three and a half bar map sensor. With each of our sensor kits, you're going to get the sensor that you ordered, the connector, seals, terminals, and thread sealant. And you'll also find on the front of each package the QR code that'll link you directly to any pertinent sensor information you might need. The first thing you'll notice on the back of this package is that the pinout for the sensors is actually the same. Pin one being your sensor ground, Pin 2, the 5 volt supply to the sensor, and pin 3 is the sensor signal that goes to the analog input of your EMU. Next, the tools we're going to use for this are a pair of flush cuts, wire strippers, and a high quality crimp frame designed for the terminals you're working with. There's going to be a link in the description for all of these tools so you can use exactly the same stuff we're using. Let's start by taking our flush cuts and derailing the terminals from the metal strip that they're attached to. I'm going to take the flush side towards the terminal, snip, and repeat. Now we include an extra in all of these kits in case a, a mistake happens, and trust me, they happen. So hopefully we'll only need these three that I'm using right now. For the wire color, we use blue for our five volt reference. We're going to use white for sensor signal that goes to the analog input of the EMU. And then we're going to use black for sensor ground. So before we strip these wires, we're going to take the weather seals and put the wires through so that we don't have copper strands stabbing us in the fingers as we work later. This prevents fraying at the end of the copper. And also make sure that you do it before you terminate the wire into the terminal itself. It is a real pain in the neck to have to redo stuff after uh, you've already crimped the terminal onto the wire. Next, then we're going to grab our strip tool. And I want to show you guys the strip length here is set to the minimum value on the stripper uh, to allow for consistent exposed copper at the end of each of these wires. One. Let's take our crimp frame and load a terminal in and get it ready to crimp and deconductor into. You'll notice that this crimp frame has an automatic positioner here with a gate that's spring loaded. So as you insert the terminal, you push on the gate, opens the gate, closes on the terminal, and now it's positively located inside of the crimp frame so it can't rotate around or give you any funny business as you go to crimp this on. We're going to slide the conductor all the way forward, leaving the copper exposed. We're going to insert and then crimp slowly. There you go. Successfully terminated a wire into this GT150. Let's take our package and look at the back side for our sensor pinout. So we'll start with position one, which is our sensor ground. That is this hole here. Insert the terminal in until it clicks. Nice positive location there. Next we'll go to pin assignment two, which is our five volt supply to the sensor. And again, and last but not least is our sensor output, or sensor signal. That goes to the analog input of our EMU device. So now that you have these clipped in and they're locked, you're going to take this gray tab and press it till it closes. And now the tabs cannot come up. And that's how you wire the three position sensor. So now that we have our three and a half bar map sensor wired into our EMU black, we're going to go into our EMU black client software and get the sensor configured properly for the range of its operation. First, we're going to start by going to the configurations tab. You'll open that up and switch the units from Imperial to metric. Our sensors are sold showing metric values, so we're going to configure them in the metric windows. Next, we're going to go to sensor setup. We're going to go into our map and barrow table. Go into parameters, deselect, use built-in map. 
Next, we're going to go into map calibration. We'll pull this open so you guys can follow along a little easier here. And we'll go into our X axis bins wizard by right clicking over the numerical value for voltage here. So for sensor voltage minimum value, we're going to use the value of half volt or 0.5 uh, because that is what the sensor is measured for. And you can see that on the back of the package. Sensor voltage maximum value, again, using the measurement on the back of the package, 4.5 volts, and interpolation type, linear interpolation. So you'll see now that the x-axis has changed, and we're gonna go and make the values here above these the voltages uh, match the sensor that we're using. So in this case, it's 3.5 uh, 3 bar, which is 350 kilopascal. We're going to set the minimum value to zero, highlight, and then right click, interpolate horizontally. And you'll see that now we have a good linear scale from half a volt to 4.5 volts, showing the range of operation for your sensor. Now that we have our sensor set up in our EMU Black software, let's go ahead and verify that it's working. You'll see here that we have our map calibration for our three and a half bar map sensor. We're going to hook up to our EMU black unit itself. You'll see now that we are already hooked up and connected. Uh, that's the green lighted here indicated and it also says connected to the device. So we're going to go ahead and move this out of our way. And we will open up our graph log. And next we're going to go all the way to the top of this log list here on the left and open our analog inputs. And now we're going to go connect our sensor. So you'll see here that we have voltage being read on our analog, analog 4 channel. And you'll see that reflect here in the spike in map signal. And that this is normalized to the voltage seen here on the analog 4 voltage. I want to make a note for you guys that depending on where you are in the country, you might see different KPA readings based on altitude and air density. Here in Dallas, this is the value that we get. Now that we've verified that the sensor is working, take a look at our EMU First Start checklist to continue setting up this device for your project. Thanks for watching. See you next time.